Good morning, all, depending on when you're listening to this. Good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and I was always told I had a voice radio. So today, I'm bringing you some more Pokemon news. The news videos I've done recently have been going down very well, and the previous Sun and Moon video I did is one of the most popular videos on my channel. So, let's have a quick look at the two new Alolan forms, which have been revealed today. Now, Alolan forms are special forms of Pokemon, which only happen in the... New region from the Pokemon Sun and Moon games. Now, we didn't talk about the first five that were revealed. Maybe there'll be a ranking video later this week. Who knows? But let's talk about the two new ones today. First of all, we have Alolan Meowth, who... Maybe I'm colorblind, or maybe it's blue. Either way, it's a little bit weird. But hey, you know, making stuff randomly blue has always worked out, hasn't it? You know, like Smurfs and an Avatar. Yeah, nothing could possibly go wrong. Now, we don't know a huge amount about Meowth. It was, let's say, revealed in the new issue of Korokoro, which is a Japanese magazine. So we can't say too much about him. What we can say is that he has gone from a regular type to a dark type, maybe suggesting that this Meowth is a little bit evil, this Alolan Meowth, but then again, we all know that in the anime, Meowth is totally evil, he hangs around with Team Rocket, so maybe this is a nod towards that. I don't know, but given this video is a little bit news and a lot reckless speculation, let's go with that. Um, he was also bred by the royal family to be particularly cool. And then we have the Alolan Marowak. Now, I, I'm a little bit weirded out by Alolan Marowak. Let's take it right back. When we start off, we have got Cubone. Cubone being one of the Pokemon from the original games, as all the Alolan have been so far, unless I've missed something. Now, Cubone was always a little bit weird, because it was a Pokemon that wore the skull of its dead mum. Don't believe me? Let's have a look at some Pokedex entries. In Pokemon Yellow, it said, Where's the skull of its deceased mother? Its cries echo inside the skull and come out as a sad melody. In Crystal, it says, It lost its mother after birth. It wears its mother's skull, never revealing its true face. And in Emerald, it pines for the mother it will never see again. Seeing a likeness of its mother in the full moon, it cries. The stains on its skull it wears are from its tears. How lovely. Then it evolves into Marowak. Now, by the time it becomes Marowak, its skull has become part of its body, and it is said to have overcome the grief of its mother's passing. In the Ruby and Sapphire games, the Pokedex entry said, Marowak is the evolved form of a Cubone that has overcome its sadness at the loss of its mother and grown tough. This Pokemon's tempered and hardened spirit is not easily broken. Fair enough. That makes perfect sense. Well, now we get the Alolan Marowak, and in a slightly unsettling development... It becomes a Lolan Marowak to fight its arch nemesis. Who is its arch nemesis? Does it have anything to do with the mother's passing? Because the whole Cubone Marowak line does seem a little bit put out by all of that. And it also changes from a ground type to a fire ghost type. That's right, a fire ghost who is after its arch nemesis. You've got Cubone who is upset at his mother's death and wears a skull. And then you've got Alolan Marowak, who becomes a fire ghost looking for its arch nemesis. Now, quite frankly, ladies and gentlemen, this looks a little bit, almost a little bit sinister to me. Now, two questions that do need to be answered. First of all, will there be evolutions? After all, we know we are getting a Lolan Sandshrew and a Lolan Sand Slash. We are getting a Lolan Volpix and a Lolan Nine Tails. But then we're getting a Lolan Executor, and we've not been told about an a Lolan Execute. And given that Executor is just kind of elongated to become a Lolan, it wouldn't make sense for there to be an a Lolan Execute. So let's do some reckless speculation. If we look at Alolan Marowak, then it makes sense to just be Marowak. We don't need an Alolan Cubone. Although maybe there could be if it's, shall we say, the particularly angry Cubone rather than the sad Cubone. So sad Cubone becomes regular Marowak. 
angry Cubone becomes a lowland Marowak. But when it comes to Meowth, there's got to be an Alolan Persian. The royal family bred Alolan Meowth to be particularly cool and special, therefore it makes sense that it would evolve into a lowland Persian, because I love Meowth, everyone loves Meowth, he was one of the stars of the anime. But let's face it, ladies and gentlemen, if you want a show cat, Persian fits the bill a lot better than Meowth. The other question that does need to be answered here is, of course, how this is going to be dealt with in the trading card game. And the answer is, we don't really know enough at the moment. Because are we going to have a lowland versions of Meowth and Persian, of Execute and Executor? Or are we going to have some Pokemon, Sandshrew and Sandslash, that have a lowland forms for both? And other Pokemon, Executor and Marowak, maybe, that just have a lowland forms? And it could go either way in a trading card game. We can look at Dark Persian, which evolves from regular Meowth, but then we can look at Misty's Golduck that evolves from Misty's Psyduck. So the question is, are we going to have a situation where you can evolve any regular Pokemon into an Alolan Pokemon? Or is it going to be you can only evolve Alolan Pokemon into Alolan Pokemon? Or are we going to have some that can only evolve Alolan to Alolan and others that can evolve regular to Alolan? We don't really know. If there isn't an Alolan Persian, does that mean we're going to have an Alolan Meowth that can only evolve into a regular Persian? Lots of questions, very few answers. We will have to stop and watch this space. Either way, I am very interested to see how these Alolan Pokemon will get into the trading card game. Until we figure that out, ladies and gentlemen, you know the deal. There's a like button. Click it. Go on. I dare you. There's a subscribe button. Go on. Click it. I double dare you. And if you already have, please get a friend to click it on your behalf. That would make me happy. And there's a comment section. Go nuts. Especially, which Pokemon do you want to get Alolan forms? I'm going Snorlax and Porygon, because as awesome as Mamoswine is, he was not one of the original 151, and that's where they all seem to be going. And of course, the most important thing is always, look after yourselves until next time. Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching PTCG Radio.